Hi guys, welcome back to Flying Lions. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to do uh, a paint dipping style. It's a little bit different than doing uh, uh, plastic dipping and uh, way different from doing uh, hydro dipping. Once you do this with just normal cans of spray paint, um, you can come out with stuff that looks just like this. And today I'll be showing you guys me doing one of my phone cases. Um, well, first step you gotta do is you gotta have a big tub of water and fill it up with decently amount of water so you can dip it down all the way at an angle and then you gotta get you a pair of latex gloves uh, just to protect your hands from the paint and then once you're ready with all that stuff all you gotta do is uh, shake both your cans of spray paint right now you can do three to two different colors for your paint Actually, you can do as many colors as you want. You just gotta spray it all at different times really fast just so it doesn't harden. What I'll be doing is I'll be doing apple red and deep blue. You can also do black and yellows, but try to stay away from those more vibrant colors because uh, you can see through it more of all since you're only just doing one dip coat. And um, just gotta start spraying it. Uh, you wanna have a decent distance away just so the water doesn't start getting all wavy from the pressure and uh, spreads absolutely everywhere and makes it look bad. So, you can start off with any color. I'm gonna start off with red. And then you do blue. And then back to your normal color. And then you do the same process for as many colors as you want. You just gotta do it until it starts doing like that. And then if you want to, you can start doing like designs around it. Make it look cooler. And also, you want to grab your finger, kind of like mix it around a little bit. Just give it a little bit cooler designs. And then, once you're ready, you grab whatever you're going to dip into the water, so such as my phone case. And then you make sure you kind of have a little sand it down, but since it's rubber, don't necessarily have to. And then you dip it in at an angle. And then once it's in there, you got to shake it around. And then you lift it right out the water. And that's how you do uh, plastic dipping. All these extra stuff hanging off of it, once it's hardened, you can just grab that and pull it straight off. That happens because I let the water, I mean, I let the, the paint in the water sit for a little too long. And if you get accidents such as this, like your finger hits it while it's in the water, don't worry about that. You just got to resand it and then put it right back into the water. And then there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.